All right, let's get into it real quick. So we have VCR right here, right? So we're gonna need a couple different things. First thing we're gonna need is saran wrap. I have a bulk pack from Sam's Club, 3,000 feet. I'm not a huge fan of this, actually, this brand, the Maker's Mark. It kind of has a weird smell to it. It works fine when you put the heat gun on it, but um, the one I got from Kirkland, actually, Costco, was a lot better in my recommenda or my experience. Uh, the only thing is I bought 3,000 feet of it, so I got a lot to use before I can get a new pack. But it's it'll work for the time being. You're going to need this, and then you're also going to need... Let me grab it real quick. There we go. Some stickers. So we've got this sticker right here. This is keep away from small children. The thin film may cling to nose. So this is pretty much a standard warning label that is on um, poly bags and that kind of stuff. If you have poly bags that don't have this, this is why I bought this roll. Um, so that I can stick it on there just to cover my rear end. And then also, in this situation, I'm going to be using one of these stickers. Sold as set, do not separate. And I'll show you guys why I'm using this here in a second. Let's go over here. Grab this bag. So, we're selling a VCR right here. I have this included. This is some AV cables that go with it. I didn't get it with this device though. Whenever I go to the Goodwill outlet, I kind of look for small little items like this. Um, I, would try, I try to add things that go with devices. It helps to add um, value. I can charge more if I have some extra accessories and things like that. And so I have this and I also have the remote control for it. So this remote, I had a, a moment where I was like, should I sell this on eBay or what should I do? This right here, Sony RMT V501. This remote actually sells for like a little bit under $20, which is pretty crazy for just a remote, but I'm going to go ahead and include it with this. So first things first, I got this bag. You don't need to use a whole gallon bag, but I had this from a previous order that came back, so I'm just gonna reuse it. And I just twist that up there. Grab the tape. Tape it all up. I don't include batteries in my remotes. Ever. If I'm selling it on Amazon or eBay or anything else, I never include batteries. Some people do. I do not. Amazon will give you headaches if you have batteries included. Uh, so that's why I don't do it for Amazon. But I also just don't do it for eBay just so that I can, you know, save costs and, you know, kind of keep that to myself. Right. So one thing we need to get done first that I remember. Whoops. There's a sticker on here. And I actually just bought these, some Scotty Peelers. Everyone on in the Amazon game and e-commerce game speaks super highly of these. And now I understand why these are super awesome. And they are buttery smooth. Look, look, first of all, look how much I paid for this VCR. $9. The flip, I'm selling this for about $100. So we're making like 60 to $70 on this bad boy alone. I believe it's technically an oversized product. Not 100% sure. I can look at it though and figure out, but for the time being, I don't know. All right. So what we're gonna wanna do is saran wrap the crap out of this thing. So what I'm gonna do actually, just kind of set this aside, get the saran wrap rolled out a little bit. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna overlap it like this. Or actually, no, no, no. Man, I hate saran wrap. <laughs> this is like the bane of my existence, any type of saran wrap. Most people have problems with it. 
I'm glad to know. So I'm gonna leave just like a little bit of lip on the saran wrap coming off of it. And I probably should have pulled the roll out a little bit more, but you know what? It's okay. And this can actually be a little bit tricky to do, which I'm glad I'm hands-free right now to be able to do this because sometimes it can be a real pain to get all this situated. Okay, so I actually really should have unrolled out more. But you know what? We are definitely just going to make this happen. When it comes to saran wrapping, more is better than less. You want to make sure, if especially if you're including uh, other stuff in it, like I'm doing right now with the uh, remote control and the, the bag of goods that I have, you want to make sure that you have a very secure package. I'm going to take the cutter out because this is going to be a pain. Get a better angle for you guys. All right. Now that I kind of got it started a little bit, I can kind of... What we're doing, essentially, there are other ways to do what we're doing. What we're doing is shrink wrapping. So, I'm using the saran wrap as a cheaper form of shrink wrap. And yes, I do have difficulties every single time, almost, like doing this. It's kind of a bit difficult. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. Unless you have a better way of doing it, Sometimes with these big items, they're really kind of a pain to get good wraps on. I'm really overloading this section right here just to make sure that my package is secured. Always make sure the pack is secure, guys. Always. Okay. And then I'm going to go through and get the rest of it now. I'm trying to keep it a little bit tight on it, on these like final wraps. The first ones can be a bit looser, but these ones I wanna keep it nice and uh, tight if possible. I'm a big proponent of getting into whatever you, whatever flows best for you guys and just like going for it. Cause everything in life is custom. Customize your life. Done a pretty good job with that. I need to fix this a little bit. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're on there. We're, we're doing all right. So now I, I took this cutter out. So now I need to get it back in. Or here's what I can do. Let's see if I can just... There's that. you thought we were done we're not <laughs> I like to be very thorough in wrapping these things up because with electronics they have especially used electronics number one thing you have to know is they get returned all the time I've sold a couple VCRs in the past and of the like three I've sold I think two of them have been returned. So that happens from time to time. Okay. We got really good and nice and wrapped up now. So let's go ahead and chop this thing up. <laughs> I 
I've never done that before. But you know what? We're really out here. Okay, kind of smooth it down. Make sure we're doing good. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do here, I need to find under here uh, my heat gun. This is the next step. So now I need to find where I can plug this thing in at. Okay. Go down here. Grab the search strip. Sorry about that angle, guys. That's what you get when you get the raw. You get whatever you see. Not really. Sometimes it can be hectic, but try not to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and use low power for this situation. Do what you know practice uh, before you do it live I used to do it on high like when I was testing it out and it was literally melting right through the plastic because this is really cheap so go on low go slow and start melting yo just to kind of give it a little bit of tension since I put all these layers on here too it's gonna require a little bit more heat, but don't overdo it. And then I do realize I am doing this on a plastic table, so <laughs> be careful. Now I'm going to let it cool. Actually, I think I'm going to put a little bit extra support on this real quick. So I'm going to travel. Bubble wrap. I really just want to make sure this gets to the location safe and sound. The way I always think about everything is I am the person who's going to be touching it the most careful, right? So I'm taking the most care as I can touching this, handling every product, every book, every item that I deal with. But I assume that everyone else in the process is throwing this like a freaking football. So... We want to make sure that we make a good padding, good protection for our books when we're shipping them. And that really just helps further down the line in the protection process. So I'm not going to need all this bubble wrap, thankfully. Could just use it all. I might as well just use it all. It's like nothing left on there. Tape in, tape in, tape in.
Oh no. Ah. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> A little bit of wasted tape. We are, ooh, we are really trying to pack this thing up nice and secure. Hopefully this doesn't come back just because it's so ridiculous. And I usually don't even package them up like this, but like I said, in the past, I've had returns with these items, so maybe I should have packaged them better in the past. Hey, I should have done this. Because the one VCR I got back was absolutely destroyed. Like, I know it was not in that condition whenever I first got it. Or when I shipped it in. It was working. Everything was good about it. But you can't really complain when Amazon with Amazon. Like, if it's coming back, it's coming back. That's just how it's going to go. Cool. So look. Boom. So, we already have label printed out. So I am going to attempt to use at least one of these two to maximize my labels. So, Right, it's primed up. Let's see what happens. Awesome timing. Nice. We're right here. I'm going to set this off to the side. We're going to need one of these guys. Boom. Warning label. So the set, do not separate. And then I'm going to do another pass actually with the saran wrap, honestly. This is kind of like my mindset when I'm doing this kind of stuff because, like, it's never like the same. I like some things get treated differently. Like this thing, it's got good profit on it. So I really want to protect it so that I actually see the profit and it doesn't get returned. Because if it gets returned, it's going to get returned busted up, and I can't resell it, and I'm out nine bucks, which obviously nine bucks isn't too much, but I'd rather be plus $70 than negative $9. I think everyone <laughs> would agree with that situation. So I'm just going to be safe. Safety first, kids. Safety is the number one rule in America, and if you don't live in America... How are you doing? quick this is going to be very 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 light with this So what I thought was going to be a quick video turned into being now 20 minutes. So if you guys are still here, drop a comment, say what's up. If you're not, I don't blame you. It's a long video. But guess what? Label. 
off attached to the package. Boom. And that is how I'm going to put it in the box and ship it to Amazon. But this is how you prep a VCR, guys. If you have any questions at all, as usual, drop them in the comments below. Or ideally, if you want direct access to Dave at Monetary Ocean, follow me on Instagram right here. Boom. And then until next time, guys, this is Dave at Monetary Ocean. Don't wait. Dive in. <laughs>